Well, Tascadero has picked up right where they left off. The 2022 CIF 6A Bowl State Champions were trying to start this year off 3-0. and Tonight, Tony Almanza was at their home game against Everett Alvarez of Salinas. Hi, Mike. Last week, the Greyhounds improved to 2-0 and as they beat Paso Robos. Tonight, they're looking to make it 3-0 and as they take on the Everett Alvarez Eagles. Let's get to those highlights. After being on the road for their first two wins, the Greyhounds were finally back home for their season opener. On the first offensive play for Atascadero, quarterback Kane Cooks looks downfield but decides to take it himself. Cooks using his speed, making the defense miss. He cooks the defense on this run for a 79-yard touchdown run. Greyhounds take the lead. The Eagles came close to scoring, but Blaze Ethan makes a great defensive stop deflecting the ball and on the next play it's Ethan again this time with an interception later in the first the Tascadero now down 9-7 but they came marching back Cooks finds his receiver getting the ball close to the 20 then Cooks finds him again for a touchdown and Tascadero takes a 14-9 lead the younger Greyhounds liking that touchdown the Eagles answer right back but so did a Tascadero Cooks throws a deep one downfield Jerome Damery goes up for it making that catch big game for the Greyhounds then it's Cooks to Coloni for a 20-yard pass, and they regain the lead. After another Alvarez Eagles touchdown, Atascadero drives downfield, and Austin Smith takes it from six yards out. The Greyhounds beat the Eagles 49-28. Atascadero is now 3-0. They play the Santa Maria Saints next week. All right, thank you, Tony. The Carpentry Warriors looking for some payback against Calvary Chapel of Santa Ana. Carp was shut out a year ago by the Eagles. This time, the Warriors were playing in the 805 near the goal line jump ball, and it's the visitors from Santa Ana with a nice interception, just keeping it off the ground. It was scoreless after the first quarter. Second quarter, Warriors get on the board in a big way. Isaiah Gonzalez taking a handoff, sheds a defender, and see ya. 45 yards down the sidelines. He's going to win that foot raise. Touchdown, Carpinteria. But Calvary Chapel turns to their number three for a big play. Gavin Gayasi. he had that interception. He's got the catch here. He crosses into Carp territory. Eagles flip the field position battle. And Calvary Chapel quarterback Matthew Peters going back to Gayasi for a touchdown. Game was tied up at seven. Warriors defense pinning the Eagles in deep. Talon Trumbull plays quarterback, of course, for Carp. Now sacks the opposing QB to force a punt. Trumbull now on offense. He's a punishing runner. He barrels his way near the end zone, sets up the Warriors' field goal, and it's good from Raul, Raul Reyes. He had a couple of field goals, 10-7 Warriors. More Carpinteria defense. It's Sawyer Kelly with the interception for the home team. But the Eagles get the ball back. They drive down the field, and they stick it in the end zone. Matthew Peters. Zigging and zagging for a touchdown, 13-10 Eagles. This game was close all the way. Carp losing a heartbreaker, 20-19. Carp has their third straight home game next Friday against Grace Brethren. Well, back to the Channel League after the break. Highlights from Buena High School as the Bulldogs tangled with powerhouse Pacifica.